I first came across a home electricity monitor at a techie client's house of mine and I took note of it, thought it was something that was pretty cool and uh, received one of these for my birthday months ago finally getting around to getting it set up so this is a little display, it can go on your desk or whatever you can just plug it in and it communicates wirelessly uh, and then you can get more detailed information through the software which is either loaded on your computer or uh, there is an app for your phone and uh, this system is called the TED the energy detective and when you buy just the basic TED package it comes with um, two devices and you get these current transformer clamps these go around your main service entrance conductors and they measure the power being consumed by your whole house and so that's where we get this data we're currently using 3 amps and uh, we're running 9 cents an hour we've got voltage readouts here this is power factor uh, and uh, of course you input what you pay for electricity there and it'll track all these different things and you can go history and it'll show you what you were using at, at what point. Of course, this has only been set up for a couple of days, so there's, there's no month history. We have day history for the last four days. You can see it goes up and down, and then hour by hour. And one way you can expand the system is by monitoring individual loads through individual current transformers on the branch circuits and that's called the spider and so I'm monitoring two air conditioners the uh, built-in oven microwave combo the floor heat in the master bath and the sunroom the 240 volt 50 amp outlet in the garage uh, the well pump to run the sprinkler system the bar dishwasher the laundry washer and dryer the refrigerator in the kitchen uh, coffee maker and beverage cooler in the kitchen share a circuit the central vacuum the main furnace the garage uh, lights and receptacles and the rear furnace all have their own uh, their own current transformer so I'll show you the the hardware part of it And there went the furnace so we can see that load coming on when we go back to the screen but uh, here's the inside of our panel and here are the two current transformers that measure the main uh, service entrance conductors and this being a 400 amp panel I had to get special larger ones that would fit around these these guys and then you can see uh, all the branch circuits that we're measuring have their own little current transformer attached and for example in a 240 volt circuit if it's a balanced circuit we can put one current transformer on and we can just use a multiplier of two but if it's not a balanced 240 volt circuit like the oven microwave combo the microwave is 120 volt so I put a current transformer on each one of these to measure the loads separately and um, those all go down and I have to finish neatening up the wires so the main box that you get is this this is called the MTU the measuring transmitting unit and your two primary current transformers are plugged in here and then this plug is power and you can see it's on its own breaker so the power feeds the power to the MTU and it also allows it to measure the voltage in the system and then the spiders those expansion modules are there and there and each one of those can monitor 10 circuits and as I said I've got a kind of neaten the wires up but these communicate via power line carrier with this which just happens to be sitting right up here and this is the TED uh, energy control center it's uh, hooked up via Ethernet and of course it's plugged in and um, this is what is putting out the data to either the computer or to the uh, the smartphone or or whatever else and uh, it's been pretty neat to be able to see 
you get some interesting statistics such as uh, the fact that our Christmas lights are drawing more electricity than the dual motor commercial central vacuum that's in this place um, but okay so presently if we go to the main furnace we can see that's running and it's drawing uh, 0.3 well it just went up to 0.7 kilowatts uh, so that's 719 watts to run the furnace blower and if we go to graphing you can manipulate the graphs a few different ways So once we go into minute view or more, then you can select the individual loads to see what they're using. And uh, of course you got to look at this for a minute and see what the colors are, are doing. But obviously this is your main power here. The blue one, see AC two ton should not be on. Minute view, hour view. So then it goes to a different type of graph and then if you hover over this like just gives you some interesting data but this is quite responsive um, the spider loads the branch circuit loads are measured once every minute but the main the house load is measured every second so it responds instantaneously the closest high current load that I can activate here is the central vac, so I'll go ahead and plug a hose in, and then we can watch that display. Okay. So you can tell that that central vac is using almost two kilowatts. And if I put my hand over the end of the hose, that will decrease because, of course, the motors are drawing less current. And now it'll go back up. And when I unplug it, this will drop down to our baseline of whatever the rest of the house is using, which is okay. So the central vac's drawing about a kilowatt and a half which is about right. Um, but even if you're not measuring the branch circuit loads of something that you're curious about, you can still figure out how much it uses by just watching this display. And uh, so anyway, that is my TED home electricity monitor. And I highly recommend you get one.